Hey guys, welcome back to another live video. And as you can see, we're finally bringing back the series that you guys saw one episode and we said we were going to do more and then we never did because it wasn't Bayonet season. But you know, there's always there's always time for someone to be super salty about something. No matter if it's Bayonet season or not, someone's always butthurt. So welcome back to another episode of Salty Month. So once again, we're going to be looking at three cards. You can already know the three cards I'm looking at by the title. So the first one we're going to be looking at is... Stardust Dragon. Yeah, Stardust Dragon. <laughs> really? Yeah, just because it goes, you can't see it. There, no. just go to the picture. Yeah, just go to the picture. So, Stardust Dragon. Yep, yep. People are salty. They want, they want Stardust Dragon. Not, not, not semi, not limited, but banned. Yes, yes. The freaking <clears throat> main TV show card banned. All right. So, the assault mode hate is real. So instead of addressing the real problem of assault mode or maybe the rank up or something along those lines, now let's just hit Stardust because you know, fuck him. You know, I think people just don't like the fact that they, as soon as the start is the field, they have to, they they just don't want to burn anything. It's like, great, what do you do about that? Compulse it? Yeah. Oh wait, it's already force, gone. The mirror <laughs> force negation is just too damn high. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I, I should you know, I actually saw it. I was actually, you know, bandless season. I was actually sitting around looking at other people's bandless predictions, seeing what the general, what they were thinking, and I saw someone wanted to start us banned, and I immediately got in a plane, flew over to that nigga's house, rang the doorbell, he opened the door, and I bitch smacked him, because he is on that good shit. And then I asked him if he would, you know, share some of his delicious drugs that would think, <laughs> make him think that Stardust should be banned. <laughs> Getting on that hoop cake. <laughs> and, and you know the stupid thing is that his reason was... Like, they put, like, written news and he's a Stardust band, and he said, because everybody wants it. Because what everybody wants... What kind of wa fucking uh, asinine uh, reason is that? that? Because everybody wants it. Uh, shit. Who wants Stardust band? Shit, this is not fucking 2008, alright? Yeah, this is, like, 2020. Seriously, how many decks can play fucking Stardust that are competitive? Gyria? There's Yuri's the only ones that are even playing him now. It's okay. like Stardust isn't even that big and they only oh. use him as a defense. They That's don't even it. use they him to fight. Use him. They just use him for his body. They don't love him. Wait, <laughs> where am I going? <laughs> <laughs> Stop. Stop. <laughs> So, yeah, that's the first one. Ridiculous, right? So we still got two more cards to look at. So yeah, next card. so much on him, but this one is going to throw you all off. Effect shift. I'm not even going to say that. <laughs> Effect Bailey. Effect Bailey. In German. Yeah. You know, the salt, the salt is just sodium amount, man. They, these guys, they need to go on a diet. Their sodium levels are just too damn high. That blood, oh man. <laughs> blood. That blood pressure is just <laughs> out the door. Seriously, they want Baylor banned because they're just, you know, they're just sick and tired of getting their monsters veiled. You know, they just can't stand the the fact that their opponent just has the answer to their play. They just can't stand it. So, you know what, just ban, just ban everything. Everything. Ban all the cards. It's like, okay, let's hit effect veiler, but let's look at Maxi again. Yeah. If Maxi pulls off, if you pull Maxi off just right, that thing is busted shit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're looking at effect veiler that stops. Example, okay, I'm going to effect veiler the Stardust Dragon. What do you fucking do? Now you can kill Stardust. How do you feel? Uh, and people forget that fucking effect veil is neg one. Yeah, it's a it's minus a, one. It's a minus one. You know, you want to go after a effect veil and hit a effect veil, but what? No, no thought of fiendish chain, break the skill, none of that. It's all about the effect veil, huh? Yeah, right. Well, the problem with effect veil is if you if they build up in your hand and then you top deck one and you're like, well, shit. You know, at least a fiendish chain, I can chain down a monster. At least it can't attack me. You know, at least it has that scare factor of another background card, Effect Veil. Vale, all that card is just, just sit in your hand. For goodness sakes, this card can clog so bad that people are playing Remarties just in case they have a Veiler. Yeah, that's why I play it. it. So, <laughs> definitely not. Effect Veil vale is perfectly fine. And, and the thing is, Effect Veil vale is always going to be that card. It has literally earned its place in our Yu-Gi-Oh! history and has etched itself, you know? Whether it be a format now or, you know, a format a couple of years from now, Effect Veil will always be on people's mind. Even if it, you know, gets out of relevance, people will always be like, remember that one card that, you know, you pitch from hand and get something? And then as soon as you see a deck do well, even f a couple of years from now, as soon as you see a deck do well with Effect Veil or side, side or Main, it's going to go right back into relevance again. So, but Veil is going to be here, guys. So, enjoy, enjoy his presence. Yep. <laughs> I hate that. I hate that shit. People are so cool as a girl. No, that's a, that's that's a, a dude. dude. That's a dude. Alright, last but not least. Huh? 
gay dude. I mean, I mean, he, if he wants to dress like that, it's fine. But it's a dude. If you guys are wondering how it's a dude, he has broad shoulders and his hips are the same uh, as his waist. That's how it's a dude. That one. That yeah, one. look at this. He may yeah. have high socks, but that does not uh, high give socks him... and wear those flat shoes. But that's a dude. It's totally a dude. Just look at it. Just look at it. Especially the shoulders. The shoulders give it away. Really broad shoulders. Oh, like that's funny. Ten bucks says a lot of you got boners off this card. Oh my and god! And you thought it was a girl. Oh my god! How do you feel when he has? You know, a you know what? You know what? Go ahead, pause this video, open up a new tab, go to Deviant Art. <laughs> no, no, that's virus. You know, everybody knows this. Yeah. All right, and the last card we are looking at because people are still salty is Booge Incarnation. Oh my god! Really? Explain to me why. It, it, it and what did they say this card should be at? They said one or banned. One or banned, all right. And the deck only plays like one to two. Yeah. You don't play three. It's too cloggy as it is. And I find it cloggy at two. It's, well, the thing is, if you set it up right, it's good. You set it up right, good, but if but you even win... If you, if you but the problem is, this, is that if you're winning, and then you draw that, well, I guess that, then it's a safety cushion in case... It's, it's, a, it's a real good safety cushion. The, yeah. uh, with what I've had through Mesa and stuff, this thing has saved my ass in a couple games. Easily save my ass, but the the thing is, a lot of people don't understand is that this can summon any any Bujin, any Bujin. That includes the Exceed, and everybody overlooks that. They want to summon the Amato or get the little hair and summon two Bujin G's and throw them to the grave somehow. This can summon anything that's a Bujin. It's it, even the new Bujin Kai that's coming out. So what do you do? You you summon the the biggest play that you can do with this is uh, summon Susanoo with. Yamato, hopefully have an Honest in hand, and this is the biggest play you can do with this. Honest, uh, run Susanoo into the strongest monster they got, Honest it, and swing at everything they have. The whole field's pretty much doomed on top of that. You just took massive life points, depending on what was what was on the field, or if you if they had field advantage. They just basically pretty much lost it off that card combo. And then Yamato will sit there, punch him in the face, and then start recycling the grave with some other stuff. So you don't have to exceed. You just you just summon one from the. It's graveyard and out of play. You have to summon one from out of banished and one from the grave. And there's, is there any other stipulation with this card? Let me read this card. No, it just it just says one Bujin card. One they Bujin monster. Use and we'll except for exceed summons, except for exceed a beast, a beast warrior, or wing beast. Oh, okay. But if so, you at least, so at least they they have a restriction, you know. It's yeah. not like what's that heraldic. Heraldic card or something yeah, like yeah. that, where you you target the two and then you immediately see summon. You can easily go into a one on one. At least they can't go into one on one or extra time. Yeah, you it's know, has to be a beast, wing beast or beast warrior at least. But definitely no, this card is fine. I like I said, I find it cloggy, but uh, at two, you know. I, I especially since it you can search it with Mikazuchi, but not for personal preference. But no, this card doesn't even ban. It's it's, it's the thing that I've learned through playing Bujins is it's good to main deck two game one if you don't need the second one for game two because you'll find out it depending on how much you banish is the determination whether you're, how, how many of these you're going to play or don't play it at all. You can side it out and it won't hurt you. It's just the reason why if you play this is because if you get I mean, Mikazuchi, Mikazuchi's yeah, like the backup Yamato is like who grabs the, the savior card. That's what he's for, and he Pretty grabs much. this. This you card know, gives one. Mikazuchi a reason to be played. Yeah. Because without that's... without this, Mikazuchi is pointless. Just ass. Yeah. And there's no reason to play him. And I mean it's 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 also that. There's combos, but it's there's no reason to hit this. I mean, if I can see this somewhere along the line just Getting hit for some reason over this, but it's not. None it's of these hard. three. None of these three are gonna get hit. There's just no reason. The problem to. is that these two will stay in relevance for all of Yu-Gi-Oh history. And this one, on the other hand, as soon as Bujins are done, this card is done. Yeah, it's it, Bujins are gonna only last as long as Tenki stays alive. Bujins are gonna last for as long as Konami wants to make money off of them. Yeah, as soon but... as they're tired of it and they want to promote something new, and then kick that deck in the mouth and move on, just like what they've always been doing. Like, oh, you model limited. Yep. <laughs> they're not gonna limit you, Once that tanky gets it, go buy Bujins. Well, I mean, I mean, they're getting their new honest, but still, it's like you know, why not? But, but shit, after they've earned all the, all the money off of it, why not limit it, Yamato? Other Kill the deck. Now. Yep. Why not limit the best one? 
you know, and maybe they want the next director promoting might be another B Swire deck. Why hit Tanky? You know, they want to earn all their money off of it. So all they oh, have to do is, just, and that's the thing is that Konami just has their stranglehold on us. That whenever we want to play the next best new shiny thing that's expensive, all Konami has to do is just fucking just slap it in the face, and now all of a sudden our money is gone. Like you know, those, those poor suckers should do how much money at Dragon Rulers? Those poor suckers should oh, do all those man, that book is, that that book of judgments and Konami just awful. slapped you in the face. You know. So it's definitely hard, you know, keep track of what Konami wants to do and don't do. But just keep in mind, Konami is always at you, that cha-ching. So you got to keep that in consideration. Profit first, player base second. Well, they even did state that they don't like secondary market making money. It's only Konami's supposed to be making money. <laughs> so, and, I, and as soon as I heard that statement, I laughed. Because, I don't know if you saw Manny, he's just like, yeah, that's never going to happen. I'm still going to make money. Oh, yeah. I mean, I make money off this game, but it's not like... And the best part about it is I don't have to use my own damn page. I can just take the money I make and go buy the same cards and get extra because people sell stuff cheaper than what it's worth. Because mm-hmm. it's not eBay. We're not vendors. Konami just... That's all they care about. Profit first. Profit first. Player being second. And it kind of sucks. I'm worried about this game falling apart, but... It's... I don't see it falling apart. That's another video, though. That, is, that is another video. Alright, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. So tell me what you guys think about people being salty about these three cards. Thank you guys for watching, thank you guys for all the support, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.